Hi friends. I am back. We are back. The B6 night owl. I, I ran back. I'm like, nope, nope. I'm not ready to not be in it every day. It's my daily. So, um, mainly because I don't want to draw out the months, you know, and here they're already ready for me. So in the weeklies, um, I don't use as often as I could, but they're still there when I want them. Um, I do like the Midori lined notebook. Um, however, I think I'm going to transition it because what I was thinking is, I mean, this will be perfect for like a book review journal because I don't put much, like I could put the pick of the book and especially if I did like, you know, two on a, if I did two on a sticker, that would be the perfect amount of space for like each book. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that and then put my journaling in this one. Remember this. I do have um, days set up through the Thursday the 30th, but I want to go one week beyond that. And actually I have my Sweet Kawaii sweatshirt on um, because it's super warm and I've been getting really freezing at night and it actually really helped. Man, I need to uh, stock up some more everyday kits. So when you swatch, swap planners a lot, you use a lot of stickers. <laughs> that is one of the problems. Um, okay. So I think I'm only going to do Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday in this particular design. So I'm going to cut the washi just in half this way. Oh, I don't need my paper trimmer to do that. I don't know why I pulled that. Um, oh, snap. I have left all my planner tools upstairs. Please hold. Okay. Sorry for the pause. Due to editing, you will not notice much, but I had this all upstairs with me last night in my bed. Um, okay. Let's start. So I think we are going to cut this vertically. The little surfboards are so cute. So we are in the one month countdown to going to the beach house um, to chill in Galveston. And that means I need to start eating right for a month. Although I just ate some donuts just now. Although honestly, I don't spend much time on the beach, maybe an hour or two each day when we're there. The rest of the time, I just hang out on the front upstairs deck reading books and planning and having a good old introverted time. It's a very quiet neighborhood. I also enjoy just like riding around the neighborhood on the golf cart. Cause the beach is only like a block away. Oh yeah, much better. And then you actually can still see the design quite well. I was scared to cut it because of that. But with that said, we don't um, really surf. So let me make sure this is Friday the 31st. You guys, on the first, I am gonna show you the new Kawaii kit because I can't wait. It is so flipping cute. I wanted to use it today, but I didn't wanna wait to post this video till then. So next week, just know we're gonna use the new Kawaii sub and it is flipping adorable. I think it's one of my favorite kits ever. How? Is the new Kawaii kit always my next favorite kit ever? I don't know how Tasia comes up with so many great designs. Blocking the haters. I love that. That's one of my favorite stickers. Saturday. About happy as a clam. I tend to be very happy on Saturdays.
you all believe it's June already? Crazy. Okay, let's do two more spreads. Sorry, I don't have a lot of chit chat today. I've made like so many videos this week and a lot of them I just trashed and didn't even post. So I've made like six different videos. So my mind is a little bit unsure what I've already talked to you guys about. So if I repeat myself, just know that it's not all old age. It's partially that I made a lot of videos that I didn't end up posting. So I don't remember if I already told you the things. Let's talk about something. Um, just like a different topic. Um, so when I was a kid, a lot of kids had lemonade stands in the summer, you know, because we got bored. Um, and my friend that we went to her daughter's birthday party this weekend, she still does it. And she sends like messages to all of us saying, um, hey, it's time for the lemonade stand. And here's my cash app and my Venmo. If you don't have cash and come by today between this time or whatever. And um, I always think that that is such a cute and modern way to do it. And so I was thinking about that and how I never really had that when I was a kid, um, but my grandma had uh, one of the first computers because she had it for their business and it was one of the first Apple computers. Um, and she had games on it. She had Dungeons and Dragons and there weren't like graphics like there are today. Um, there was like this instruction booklet and it would, it was basically like narrative on the screen. It would tell you what was going on and then it would say, do you want to turn left or right? And then you would have to write commands in there. Um, so I would play that sometimes. She had another game that did have a couple graphics on it, which was Lemonade Stand. And it was more of a business game where like, it would tell you the weather and then you would say how many lemonades you were going to make for that day. And such, they, it would tell you how much the ingredients cost. And then it would tell you um, to set your price. And then it would tell you, like you would push enter and then it would tell you what really happened. Like, uh oh. Um, it was, it actually came a thunderstorm, so you didn't sell anything or, you know, whatever. So I always thought that that game was like really fun when I was a kid. And I think that was pretty much like before it's time. Like I think kids today would enjoy a more modern version of that game and maybe one exists. I don't know. That's cute up there. That got me thinking about the lemonade. Um, let's do some yellow boxes. Do y'all live near a beach? And are you a beach person? I think I, I've told y'all quite a few times. I'm not really a beach person, but the beach really isn't that far from us. We can go um, to Galveston pretty easily pretty much a one and a half to two hour day trip. Um, we can go to like Port Aransas or South Padre um, in a, like a one day drive, like six to eight hours if we go south. We could go to Florida beaches or like Alabama, like across, um, go across Louisiana and that would be like a day or two of driving. Um, but we haven't ever done that yet. We might do that next year for Braden's um, senior year because we prefer road trips just because of the cost and everything else. I must have put the date cover a little bit low this time because the quarter box doesn't want to fit. Um, but yeah, I'm not like a really big beach person, but maybe it's because I haven't visited like many nice beaches. I've only been to Galveston and South Padre. Um, so maybe that has something that plays into it. But I love the beach house. Got some yellow lines. This is a primary yellow by Ohuhu. vitamin C. I'm just going to put a little sun up here. Okay. 
one more day just since it's even though it's monday it's you know when the planner won't fold over on itself i like both pages to match so i think we're gonna do a beige color i really like how this kit has like a neutral let's make sure we put this up far enough this time okay now i need the monday that i had cut in half Is anybody changing planners mid-year? I know this is a popular time. If you want to, you can still check out Night Owl Planner. Oh, I put some more stickers on it, guys. Isn't that cute? Um, she still has her July through December books only for like 25 bucks. Pretty good price. And I have a code and an affiliate link in my bio if you want to check it out. That helps me out. But honestly, I just want people to know how great this planner is. Like, that is how hype I am about this planner. Like, no, more people should know how good it is. Okay, there we go. And then we just need our half box. And I just like to really support good people too, like um, Tasia with Sweet Kawaii, Tanya with Anybody Sticker Co. They're just such good people. And same with Marissa with Owl Paper. And Marissa is a mom and she just recently adopted another child and I just think it's so admirable. That's another thing that, I don't know. I just think that's a lot. Like, she has a full-time job. She's created this planner company. And she does such a great job of all of it. Um, let's see. Oh, we don't want to use the same one. Or maybe some chips. Let me go to the beach. We can eat some chips. Burgers tonight. Oh, Abby's cooking burgers. Flipping patties. Yeah, patties. <laughs> Talk. No, I felt guilty. I should have gone to church today. And then I told Emma, like, oh, I missed a good one. And she's like, yeah, that's why you should go to church. I was like, ah. <laughs> yikes. She's right. I think it will be. But I don't know. Then again, a lot of people grill out on, on Memorial Day. Okay, so Sambo 910. More hours for you. Get that bread. Okay. One more sticker right there. Maybe. Well, I don't know. The crab. Yeah, let's do it. Da, 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 da. That is the end of this plan with me. I'm so glad that I went back to my owl paper. It's being so loud. Let me end the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.